in this video i am going to show you how you can make a uh, custom designed woocommerce uh, product uh, carousel using elementor pro using the new loop item feature of elementor pro uh, you can design any kind of carousel you want and even product woocommerce product carousel so uh, before you, before that you had to use like custom plugins to have a carousel like this simple carousel like this uh, you had to use custom install cust another plugins and even to make small changes to the design of the carousel such as the button styling or the product title or the pricing etc or if you needed to add another kind of uh, uh, feature or option you needed to like do a lot of add a lot of css code or even uh, edit the php codes uh, of the wordpress website but uh, now it's not necessary you can easily uh, make a custom designed uh, WooCommerce product carousel using the uh, loop item of Elementor uh, Pro. So uh, this is the which one I, I have designed and I am going to do a same one like this again. And so uh, I am going to make this one again and you see this is uh, not uh, overly complicated this is quite simple and uh, just to make you understand the concept of how it works i'm going to uh, make this make it like this similar to like this so i'll go to uh, i will start from again i'll start again i'll just copy okay so what you need to do firstly in the back end of the website you can see that i have all the products over here i have imported a bunch of products uh, over here you see i have got all the products and now i'm going to uh, go ahead and make the product carousel template and under templates over here i will need to go to the theme builder and after going to the theme builder i'll need to go to the this one loop item okay click add over here so i'm going to make uh, something similar to this one so you can see it got uh, several components product image the product title and the product pricing and the button to view the product okay so this is firstly we need to design the single one so add a new section start with the single column section and for the product image what i'm going to do is add an inner section okay add inner section i'll add an inner section and add a custom height to the inner section <coughs> a custom height to the inner section so i'll add a minimum height and then I will reduce the height like this. Okay, it can be adjusted later on, so don't worry much about it. So I will go over here. So firstly, what I need to do, I will just uh, publish this, and then I'll need to go over over here settings. And under settings in the query, you need to change the source type to products, and click on apply. So this will uh, like, like open up the WooCommerce options and you will be able to the, see the WooCommerce different kind of WooCommerce options uh, in the over here. You see, you see recommended over here different kind of uh, options. So let's see, uh, firstly in the inner section background type, we need to change it to uh, product image so WooCommerce under WooCommerce change it to product image and over here display size to cover and position center center so why am I using this uh, adding a new section and adding the uh, product images a background because different kind of product images uh, sometimes the product images have different sizes and when you have different images of different sizes then the carousel is not going to be going to be very uneven it's going to like uh, some of them are going to be different sizes then it's not going to look nice so that's why i'm using this uh, in a in it in a this way okay 
so next what are we going to do we are going to add this title product title so i will just add this product title so over here product title i will add okay so it's a bit too big so what i want to do is right now i want to add the title inside a kind of a box so that there is i can put a padding around the components okay like a so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a bit of padding 15 pixel padding and put it inside the box over here and reduce the no it's too small 25 okay and line height i will change to 1.5 or 1.2 okay great and then what the price product product price you see there is the pricing of the product and then you choose uh, place the button over here so what i am going to do uh, instead of uh, adding the add to cart i am going to just add a normal button and then connect it to the uh, product because uh, some of the product have uh, different kind of uh, different variations so it's better to uh, link it to the product page so what i am going to do i am going to link it to the it's not the text sorry under the so for the text button text i am going to just click on view product and then i will just add an icon i will add a cart icon okay and then uh, in the link over here i will just uh, add this link uh, post url which is link which will link to the product page and over here let me change the widget spacing to 10 okay or oh, this button should be inside this section okay so what i'm what i want to do i want to add a bit of color sorry i want to add a bit of color to the background of the background container so i want to add a bit of light color like this whatever now this is a bit too dark I want to add more lighter yeah kind of like this a peach okay over here i want to add a background color like this pinkish background color okay so it looks different and over here so the main content column i am going to just remove the padding okay and inside the main column i am going to also going to add a bit of uh, background box shadow so this will look like this let me add a bit of blur and reduce the opacity the background shadow so it's going to look better and also i am going to add a bit of border radius No, not over here okay i will just add a bit of border radius fine okay another thing i could add over here so uh, over here i could add uh, product stock let's see what happens if i add this one okay i'll just update it so uh, we are almost done what i need to do right now is go to the uh, oh uh, another thing which i need to do i will go to the settings and i need to the change the name of the template so i can find it okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to name this who oh not sorry okay i'll refresh it sorry i'll refresh it I need to change the name of the template so I can find it easily. Okay, I will just go to over here 
put here I'll need to change it to uh, product carousel not sure why this changing okay I will you can fix it later on okay I'll just go to the dashboard and pages I'll go to pages I will just uh, choose a page like this one, I uh, will just add a new page, to product carousel, save a stuff and then edit with elementor. Okay, well, now I'm going to what I'm going to do now is search for the item loop carousel. Okay, loop carousel, place it over here and uh, choose template type products. Choose a template. Uh, remember, I named the template who, who product carousel. Okay, so see now it appeared okay and remember we added uh, availability you see availability avail whether the product is available or not we added this kind of field over here so uh, available on back ordered so this is not like i guess not available see so now it looks like this uh, you can see that i already a pink color which i have placed over here and so I guess uh, the image is not ed added over for this product so uh, that's why it's not appearing. Uh, you can see you can change a lot of things you can for example it's now showing 6 products you can add like 10 products ok. So now it will just show up 10 products in the carousel ok ok great ok and then slides to display you can change it to 4 and now it look like this. So, you can see that why I uh, added this as a background because you can see that all of these are equal, the images all of these are equal. Okay, number 3, I will just show th uh, add 3. Uh, another thing I could do is I could edit the template directly from over here. So, I will let's save it first. So, I can also edit the template directly from uh, the page itself. And I can what I can do I can add a minimum height to it okay so that all of them kind of have the same height okay so it will look nicer okay so right now I'm in the uh, editing the loop item so I'll just go back to edit page okay great so now it see it looks a bit better because all of them are equal sized see now it looks better and now let's view it preview the changes okay so now you can see that this is a nice looking woocommerce product carousel and when i click on the this view product it will take me to the product page now where i can choose the option and then add to cart okay you see I can add to cart. So that is how uh, you can make uh, a WooCommerce pro custom design WooCommerce product carousel using Elementor Pro only uh, the new using the new uh, loop item feature of Elementor Pro and uh, it is going to save your time and uh, will uh, help you to make a custom design product carousel. Uh, in a very short time without using any custom quotes without using any custom services or php etc so i hope this video helped you out and if it did then please make sure to like this video and also please uh